Rian and Buta made their way up to Dwarskas Bos, that is on the west coast from Cape Town. This area can produce a variety of species, but as we know with fishing, it all depends on the conditions. Gaat hij, gaat hij, gaat hij, Prepping like it. Ah, best any. <laughs> yes, today. I like it too, man. Yeah, it's actually a bit too much for fun, don't you know? Oh, come on, let's do it. Yes, it. Today there were only some lesser sand sharks that can provide a lot of entertainment when they are around. But several other species frequent these waters. Several skates and flatfish, as well as cob, hellback, steenbrus and several other edibles. Hey, double up! <laughs> Mallet, eh? Like a fat other, eh? That's sick. Buta, our Cape Town ambassadors, really explores these waters from Strace Bay all the way to the west coast and probably fish more than anything else. Okay, we've got a little piece now with, uh, with uh, no grass. <laughs> I'm uh, going slightly deeper, see if I can get an eagle or uh, see what happens, eh? Oh. Perfect. Perfecto!
On the next excursion, Rian made his way to Strays Bay, which is just over 200 kilometers east of Cape Town, and definitely a favorite in the Western Cape for all anglers. Early morning started off with netting some mullet, one of the really good baits in these areas. And you Strays by and Cape Pugalas has got a variety of species as well as places to fish. And if you're there and there's not a lot of fish around, it is still worth the while, being one of the most picturesque and beautiful areas, and so diverse for all anglers. Having the long stretchy beaches and the plot at Strays Bay and all the rocky points and bays along the Cape Pugalas side. This area lures in hundreds and thousands of anglers every year. Stefan Oosthuizen was first to go on with a nice hammerhead. Rian was lucky enough to hook a really nice duck ball that made the whole trip worth it. These species can give you a real run for your money, being one of the stronger fighters and using the currents to their advantage. Its close relative eagle rays are also known to do this. Duck balls must be one of the most beautiful flatfish species we have. For watching ASFN and thank you for those who already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button on this video as that really helps us and hit the bell notification button if you want to get notified every time we upload a video.